morning world um so i'm in vegas in my hotel room it's about 10 o'clock in the morning um i didn't get a, real, a lot of footage for you last night because i didn't really do a lot um i kind of once i was in i came upstairs to my hotel room i'm on the top floor of planet hollywood which is pretty cool but um yeah i just found some dinner and drank some wine and went back to bed. It wasn't very exciting. Um, I actually, the place I ate dinner, I got invited to join a family. They saw me all alone and they're like, come join us. We'd love to have a chat with you. So that was pretty cool. I chatted and learned a bit about them. They were from Kansas and had just come up for a convention and stayed a couple of extra days. But um, yeah, so today is just, the plan is just to explore, see Vegas, see what we can do. Um, I think I'm going to go down to the Venetian and go on a gondola because that sounds like fun and I didn't get to do it last time. Oh, I do a bit of shopping. I might go to the pool. Ah, oh, what I plan on doing is going to a human nature concert tonight because tonight's the only night I will be able to go. So if I don't go tonight and I regret it tomorrow, then <laughs> that will suck. So I'm just going to go today. But anyway, um, Here's the view out my window. I unfortunately aren't facing the strip, but um, it's pretty amazing. I've got the mountains in the background and um, there's the other side of the planet Hollywood. Oh, there's a sign, but it's all car park and industrial around the bottom here, so it's not very exciting. At night, there are a couple of lights and you can see a couple of the different ones. There's the Grand Hilton just there, over there somewhere. Oh, there is Bailey's, um, there's a couple of other places around, but nothing terribly exciting. But, um, yeah, so that's really all the plan is for today. I'll hopefully get some footage for you of the strip and the craziness that is the strip. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. So I've made it to Bellagio, we're in front of the, um, <laughs> I don't know what the time is, I haven't got a clock on me, um, but it should go off, I think in the next 15 minutes or so. It was about half an hour ago, about, I think 15 minutes ago, so <laughs> we'll see what we can do. I, um, I've just kind of been walking the strip, it's hot, it's like this heat wave as I came out. Um, yeah, I um, found myself a frozen cocktail, I just say Vegas is the only place that I've ever been judged for not wanting a second shot in my um, cocktail at 11.30, so I got it anyway, he told me that he looks like I needed it and he gave it to me, so I'm feeling much better since I've had it, a little less hungover, but um, if that's what my 11.30 holds, who knows what the rest of the day holds. So after waiting for about half an hour, 40 minutes for this stupid fountain, they've just made an announcement that the first fountain isn't until 3. So we'll come back later and see if we can get some. I'll make sure I come back at a night time as well because it's beautiful at night time. But, um, so we're just going to keep adventuring, see what else there is around. We'll get some fountain pictures later. So I made it into the Venetian. It's pretty amazing. They've built it all up to look pretty spectacular and they've got this big canal running through it. And so there's gondola rides, as you can see by these guys here. They have a bit of a sing as you go along. I might try and end up on one later today. We'll see how it happens, hey? Wow. <laughs> we keep going over and there's the canal. And 
awesome shops. I can't believe I never made it here last time I visited. I can't believe I've never heard of it. It's just amazing. So I just spent the last like, oh, it's gonna be half an hour in MAC. Cause I need a new makeup and I've been trying to find a MAC since I got here. Cause all my makeup is dying. And so, yeah, I've just spent like half an hour with this lovely girl, Christina. Um, she's apparently gonna hook me up with one of her friends who's in New Orleans this weekend. Um, that's pretty cool. She hooked me up full on because she decided that I needed to go out tonight. Um, but yeah, it's just it's so much cheaper in America. I bought like so much and it came in under two hundred dollars, which you know in Australia and buy three items and it costs two hundred dollars. So that was pretty exciting. <laughs> sometime around there there'll be a fountain display going on but um yeah I don't really have a lot I need to find something else to drink because I can feel myself getting far too soap <laughs> but um yes I discovered that I'm not so great at shopping while drunk um as in forever 21 for about half an hour and tried on about 20 things that are so not me but I tried them on anyway because I decided that apparently those are the things that I wanted to wear but Shopping will happen another day. I've spent enough money today anyway. Ooh, I just found a free people. I'm going in there. I'll talk later. So we got Treasure Island here. Apparently they do a show. There's a um, body of water there. Big pirate ship over here. Apparently every night there's a show a couple of times a night. Um, I'm just going to be over here tonight at the Venetian. Um, in nature so maybe it'll work out that I can catch their show tonight as well but yeah right this part of the strip and the amazing inside the building just keep continuing I'm inside Caesar's Palace and once again it's a really beautiful architecture and this massive fountain in the middle which I'm sure has some meaning but Hello world! Um, I made it back to my hotel eventually. I went past a couple of different shops and saw uh, some kind of display at Caesar's Salad. Caesar's Salad? Caesar's Palace about Atlantis and there was fountains and fire and I missed the first half so I wasn't really sure what went on but it sunk in the end so it was about Atlantis I assume but um yeah so I'm just currently about to head off to find something to eat for dinner. It's about 5.30, which means it's a really early dinner for me lately. But um, I'm off to Human Nature at seven o'clock. So it's, it's 5.30 and it's gonna take me about half an hour to walk up to the Venetian. The Venetian? I think that's what it's called. <laughs> um, or oh, where it is, more to the point. Yeah, I've decided I probably should go get some dinner now. I think I'm just gonna go downstairs to I think it's called Burger. It's um, Gordon Ramsay's burger meal, burger joint. It's just, it's in the casino downstairs. So it's not particularly fancy dining. I'll sit at the bar and eat a burger and hopefully there's some salad with it. And then we'll go off to my show and do some dancing and singing and all that fun stuff that one does when they're at a human nature concert. And so we'll see what it's like. Should be good fun actually. I'm quite looking forward to it. Well that was an ordeal. I've just managed to get myself locked out of my hotel room which I realised when I was in the elevator going down that I didn't have my wallet or my keys to get back into the room and so then I had to line up with like a bus load of people so I could get a spare key which then they wouldn't give me because I didn't have any ID on me because it's in my wallet which is in my room. So then I had to come back upstairs to wait for about 15 minutes to, um, for security to come so that he would let me in my room to then check my ID. And then after all of that, I now haven't eaten any dinner and I need now have half an hour to get to the Venetian um, so I can go to my concert. So I am hungry and running late, which is not a great mix, but hopefully I can find something to eat on the way there. 
I hope I can get there in half an hour. I'm not actually really sure how long it takes to get there, but we'll do it. We're on a mission. 